What's up, guys? It's the 10th of the month of May. What do we do? We do Trader's Corner. Buy, sell, trade. That should be on the title when I get this uploaded. Buy, sell, trade. It's not just about trading. It's about selling. It's about buying. It's about time. It's about space. About to never mind. Um, in any case, so <sighs> take a deep breath. It's gonna be wonderful. You know, you know it. If you want to buy, sell, or trade something, and it, you don't have it on the on the sheets because you didn't email me, always remember to email me prior to the tenth, preferably prior to the ninth. If you want to put something on the actual camera. The people that do tend to get really good results. So email me with your list and your email address and I'll just dump it on a piece of paper and then people can buy, sell, and trade from you. Just like these yo boys here, like Aaron, which is Adam Ray 7308 at Gmail, you know, that kind of thing. You're getting to get the email address. I'll put all of this in the description section. I'll put what I can in the top of the comment section, what I can fit. If it says too much, then I'll have to cut it down a bit. But in any case, so I mean, you know, all this kind of stuff. Um, in any case, get it to me if you want it read on the air. Wow. Incredible. This stuff, some of it's for sale, some of it's not yet. Um, but I just wanted to throw it on the table because I want to just talk with you a little, little bit. So put your stuff in the comment section if you don't want to hear me drivel on um, and talk about some things. Um, then just like I'm looking for a blah, 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 will trade or could buy or I'm looking to sell, blah, blah, blah. I would hope that would work out well in the comment section. I don't know that it's really picking up that much steam uh, but I'm going to keep doing it every month, month after month. I know one thing for sure. It's working for me. It's working for me and for some of the guys that actually have me read their knives out on the air. So at least if it's doing nothing more than that, it's doing that. And as things pick up and people kind of figure that out and go, yeah, I got some knives I want to get rid of. And you know what? I, I don't like the, uh, the eBay fees and, you know, all that kind of stuff and, you know, it's a hassle to take the pictures and do all that stuff. I could just give a list to LTK, see what happens, you know. I mean, that's one way. In any case, so, yes, I, I'm going to go through my list first, okay? And then I'm going to make sure that I get through everybody else's list. First of all, announcements, okay? So, here's the deal. White Mountain Knives, Justin is his name. I'm going to have his website there. You go on his website. He's got all kinds of knives, like Benchmade, Spyderco, Cold Steel, whatever. 10% um, discount. The code is LTK. I mean, the guy's a champ. I, I don't know. I'm just kind of blown away. It's like, what? Going to give all these people that I tell. I mean, you could tell a friend. I mean, they don't have to hear it. For me, they don't have to be a subscriber, whatever, but the LTK discount code gets you 10% off. By the way, you know he does have an eBay site. No. No. So I don't, I mean, because he has, you know, the problem is the eBay fees are super high. So, I mean, that eats him up right there. So, you know, but check, check his eBay site. Uh, sometimes he'll jump out with a new brand of knives and, and having things on there that he hasn't even got on his website yet. That's how I caught him with the, oh God, now I can't remember her now. But I mean, he, he, he jumped out there with certain types of knives. I think it was uh, the Stedman CO5, you know, the, the dagger looking folding knives. And I thought the only place I could get those is China. And then poof, here they come. So that, okay, to you knife. Dave Warren and his lovely wife uh, run the to you knife thing. And Zell just gave him a big uh, kind of shout out. 
he did a video about the the economy D2. Oh, oh, hey, Dave. I did a swap with Dave. I gave away the red one. I got a green one. So about these knives that are D2 and G10. And uh, he said, man, I'll tell you what. I got a few nits to pick with this knife. But I mean, basically, I think that the number six and it's not a very deep uh in here to take it apart but i've never had any problem but just get hardened steel bits but yeah it'd be better if it was a number eight and a little deeper in any case but zell was just man blown away i mean 44 45 bucks but you use the discount coupon code you get five dollars off any knife on his site and this one makes it like 39.99 or whatever so Wow. I mean, it's just an incredible value. It's probably the best value out there for a knife. Uh, if, if you like the flipper knives and if you, you know, liner lock G10 D2 steel, I mean, at that, that's just an absolute incredible bargain. It's blowing the doors off of everybody else because nobody's even in the, in the, in the house with that, except ch knives and so that's another one we will be talking more about them i did a video kind of of the g10 ch knives just threw three different models together and did one i'm going to break out i'm going to do the 3504 as a specific uh review 35 bucks delivered d2 and they are cutting good. I've been using this one a little bit. I shouldn't say that. I mean, Kluver up in Iowa, he's like, dude, you bought the last, you know, Jade G10 one. And, you know, they. I was getting them on Amazon uh, under the Effengrau, E-A-F-E-N-G-R-O-W name. And they have these. I looked under Kubi, K-U-B-E-Y as well. They get rebranded. So you got to, if you're going to get one on Amazon and you can check on eBay and then when all else fails, go to DHgate or AliExpress. Um, there's a 3001 model that's coming out also in black G10 and this Jade. I've got that. I just ordered it. Uh, as well as their 3505 model, if I'm, my mind serves me correctly, uh, which is coming soon. I got that one on Amazon from Effengrau. So they don't rebrand the actual brand on the knife. They leave that alone. It's just kind of their seller name or whatever. So 35 bucks, these are great. These do not have like ceramic bearings, but they got steel bearings and they, they have great action. So Look out for that. Kluver really feels like they're super duper. So it's not just me because I am a CH fanboy, I guess, to a degree. I've really done a lot of stuff with them. Of course, he used to, the Ping, the owner of CH Dives, he's got an Instagram, Facebook page. Uh, also, his brother is the Reich Knife guy. So CH and Reich did a collaborative titanium model that I reviewed not long ago. So... You know, you can tell those guys are peas in a pot. Uh, Peng used to work at Kaiser, came out, did CH. I thought he was just some kind of crazy off-brand, you know, and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, his brother being in the Reich knife deal, which is, you know, Reich knives, right? And this is one of their budget things that they're doing. And this was on my table sale. In any case, so it's weird how the circle goes around and closes and then all of a sudden you realize these are not just some you know crazy you know nerdy well whatever they're really people that have had experience know people uh they're in these different industries fascinating okay so two you knives go to their site because that i'll tell you what man just try that you know ceramic bearings just and I got this one, and I'm glad because I like it better than the red. Only, I like the red scales, but I like the fact that it's not a partially black washed up here on the flats. Although, really, that was a nothing to me. Uh, the red is cool, and it's so, I don't know if it's still for sale now. I mean, they'll probably be getting more, but I think it was close to sold out last I checked. 
any case, like the green. Um, so check him out there. Oh, and then Kevin, he sharpened some knives uh, for my last giveaway. And so there's his email and his Facebook page as far as getting sharpening services. Uh, really great job there. And you know what? I just don't have time. I just don't have time to sit down. I mean, I saw a, a video Apostle P did and he goes, and it was a knife that had been sent to him for sharpening and he was reviewing it before he sent it back. He had a nice mirror edge on it. He goes, I struggle with this damn knife for over two hours. And it's like, you know, if it, if that's how long he's messing with this, um, I am, no, no. I mean, I've sharpened on my KME, but I, my, my highest uh, grit stone that's standard with that kid is like 1,200 or 1,500 grit. And that's it. That's where I stop. Okay. And so, no, I don't have like the Arkansas stones. I don't have strokes, any of that kind of stuff. So I just bring it back. You know, you, 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 you get the burr, you knock the burr off, then you kind of polish as you can back and forth. Um, and, you know, hey, it'll shave paper, shave your arm. It's not that pretty on the edge. Uh, but, I mean, that's kind of how I roll if I have to sharpen my own. But when Kevin does it, it's just a whole new ball game. And it's really nice. And I think on my higher end knives that I'm really, really not going to use much, maybe just very sparingly, I would like to have him put a mirror edge on it. I, man, I mean, he's just so great. And he just, you know, he's just trying to make some extra money. So, I mean, you know, good guy. Um, just, just doing it and, uh, trying to break into this thing and establish a clientele. And you know, that's great. I appreciate him. Um, okay. LT knives, LTK knives. What the hell? Um, I've got the HEA designs, the wingman. Now this is $329 on blade HQ. I got it for 275 delivered basically brand new okay so i do have a video that i will release on this knife but you know titanium s35 vn vn and it's you know it's got a really nice big old box you know and this kind of thing so now we're going to shopping channel right but i'm just telling you it's really cool um how it is now if this is a design that you know that you like and what's interesting about this knife is obviously see the cut out in the blade the cut out in the handle wild huh in any case so it goes in there it all fits it's it's got all the stuff so if you're interested contact me um or even you know an interesting trade uh something i have never reviewed before something like that you know yeah. Whatever. You never know. Now, here's one. And I, I Linus over in uh, Gothenburg, Sweden, sent this to me, God, two months ago. I put it in knife sale after knife sale. These were uh, the Enforcer. I mean, this was uh, on Blade HQ. I looked it up. You know, it's, of course, it's discontinued, but, uh, and, I think they have some like this. It's a little bit different model now, but this was 405 back in the day, 405 bucks. I traded Linus out of it. He saw some stuff that he'd like to have that I had. So I just traded him out of it and said, dude, you know, I can't do that. I can't hold this knife for forever. And you know, let's just do something. So I own a Browse Karambit, folding Karambit. Um, I would like for you to own this browse folding karambit because <laughs> nah, karambits are not necessarily my style. I've got it for $2.99 or trade or best offer. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. You never know. You know, the door cannot open unless you knock. So don't be shy. Um, If you're interested in a folding karambit and you know it's it's got a it's it's got the uh the number on it somewhere of course i can never find it but when i want to there it is the where it is in 56 of 500 so fairly low number etc there you go any case 
And then, oh, I did want to announce as well. Sorry. God, I should have done this earlier. Benchmade proper. Now, I'm not selling or trading this right now. Uh, this came from White Mountain Knives. I, uh, God, I, you know what? This is a Thursday. I think, I don't think I paid him until like Monday or maybe, yeah, Monday. So it got here on a Wednesday. No, no, it can't be that quick. Maybe it is. Wow. But he sent me an invoice and I paid and then he shipped it out. I said, you know, I'm kind of, you know, the slip joint thing's kind of taken off. And this Benchmade, it's blue. You know, here we go. Benchmade, proper. But he's got these for sale. I looked at, I looked at Blade HQ. And uh, they, it said like pre-order or something like that. So these are on uh, Justin's site. He's got them. So, and these are a limited edition knife. So... How cool is that? S30V blade. This is number 338. So, I mean, they have, I mean, they've made this slip joint, you know, design proper. I mean, but this is a limited edition. So obviously the DLC coating, the blue G10 uh, scales, that kind of thing. So, hey, uh, plus I think, can't remember, like 140 bucks, but then of course the LTK discount. So there you go. Lanyard hole. It's really a dense type G10, so that's a really good. It has a real heavy, like funk feel to it when you close it. Um, you know? So yeah, uh, it's interesting. It's just one of those little slender ones you can just throw in your pocket and carry. So I mean, as an option, hey, what the hell? Just like this, which will be for sale soon, the Laol, the Robert David, whatever. And, uh, oh, I think they have these on Knife Center if you want real one real bad. And if you want it real bad, contact me. <laughs> I don't have it on my list. I haven't done my review on this knife yet, so I can't really blow it out the door immediately. But I will soon. Um... And, you know, the little shepherd's cross here, I guess, supposedly, the French shepherds back in the day would stab it into a loaf of bread because they couldn't go to church and they'd pray to the cross thing. So that was supposedly the tale behind that. But, and this is some kind of a B. Um, and, yeah, it's a slip joint, 12C27, made in France. There's all your kind of inflammation, snake wood handle. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, yeah, nice. In any case, really stiff. Bam! So this is the, the box and everything. I just, you know, Wes, uh, Mr. Gear Bear told me he, he was really enthralled with them. He thought they were really cool. So I got one. I'm going to put it on the air. You know me. And so, and speaking of slip joints, you know, I will be airing a video on this. Probably not really very soon. This is the shuffler as opposed to the round head, but this is the lion steel and the M390 blade, titanium bolsters, titanium liners. Really nice. So uh, is that cool? Just like a canvas micarta. I've talked to, and I will give you the name on the person that I'm working with to do some optional scales on it. So that'll be cool. And I've got a, a leather pouch coming in from Collector Knives out of Tishmingo, Oklahoma. They're the ones that do this crazy stuff anyhow. And they're going to come up with a July release where you can get these. So Collector Knives, Tishmingo, Oklahoma. <clears throat> if you're interested, I'll give you the link. But you can get these in carbon fiber, micarta, a ram's horn, stag, all that kind of stuff. But M390, nice little slip joint. Just throw it in your pocket, a little over two ounces. Nothing to it. Not quite a three-inch blade. Not even close. Two and something. But, you know, about three and three-quarter inch handle. You know, under seven inches overall. Going, you know, what what what's old becomes new again, doesn't it? So, oh, um, also, before you, I get down too far into this thing... You know, we got the OTFs from Ray. And so 
These are the only two left. I think he sent me six. And this has got that kind of hellhound looking blade. These are Horizon Outdoors from that Andy Wu side or whatever his name is. Andy's Blades, if you're familiar with that DH gate kind of stuff. But in any case, so he, get, he, he does these high-end OTFs and other kinds of autos. And so there you go. Uh, we've had Horizon Outdoor Knives that were also just regular folders too. So in any case, um, on, on, that I've done reviews on. So they got like skull crushers or whatever that are also lanyard holds. They come with the tool. 159 titanium S35VN. 125 uh, for this. And it's uh, M, or M390, yeah. So just in case... You were interested. Those are still on the list. Uh, oh, LTK knives were bopping in and out. I've got this. This is the TS57. So the Tucson knife, night morning design, smaller knife. Not terribly small, but not big, big. And so that's still left over on my table sale. You can see it on the most recent table sale that I've published also. The Reich... Uh, 802 G for green titanium frame green backspacer uh, green G10 yeah and it's a good size knife this is not a small knife this is a good size knife so yeah just like that slick and these are normally like a hundred and I don't know 135 bucks retail I've got mine for 105 look in the section uh the tucson is 55 bucks that's pretty darn good right there and then my hogue x5 which is sitting back here on a box it comes with the box inside is a zipper pouch and also since you can't do this pocket clip on the left side they give you a separate left hand pocket clip so you can do that and this is a four inch knife. This is a flipper. It's not an assisted opening. It's got the Cerakote blade. This was a limited edition aluminum coated. I think it's a DLC coat on the handles. It may be a Cerakote. Um, and then there's a lockout here that keeps you from being able to disengage this. But I mean, it's a big, it's a Alan Alishowitz uh, design. So and do we do we have oh that's that's not the lockout ah yes great action it's really a cool knife nice lanyard hole never done anything with this it's basically brand new in the box i think i had it out on a review about i don't know how long ago maybe a year ago or somewhere around there so yeah 170 bucks you look it up on ebay i did see one on ebay for 205 but mostly they run around 220. So big knife, big knife. Um, and did I do my whole list? Uh, yeah. And then uh, Larry, he was uh, looking, or at least he was last month, he was looking for our Horizon D, a Riot Horizon D. So that's all I know. Uh, there's his email address if you have one that you want to sell or trade. I think mostly trade that he was looking for. Okay. And like I said, <clears throat> Adam, he's got a Ferrum Forge Falcon that's basically mint in the box. 115 bucks. It's got all the stuff with it. 115 bucks. Uh, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, what I've seen, I mean, I always go and jump over on eBay saying, what's the cheapest one I can get there? And it's like, they want about 150 for them, so uh, yeah. And then he's got a batch of CRKT knives, a Gerber and a Kershaw. Here's the list of them: Drifter M16, M16, uh, Minimalist Buoy, the Spew, Large Fossil Cryo Tube, Paraframe on the Gerber. Hundred bucks OBO for the batch. He just wants to sell the batch, and I'm sitting there trying to do math in my head. And I'm saying, yeah, that, and he goes, I think the two CRKTs he had carried, the two, 
the two M16s he had carried a couple times, very lightly used. The rest of them are basically mint, okay? So get a hold of him. There's his email address. Give him a shout. And then Ray, uh, I talked to you about the OTFs. Got that handled. And Andrew and basically you just have to go into the description section and read this or you can pause and read so there's his email address and he has done well putting a list on camera okay so here's his explanation and he's i mean he's got a two year knife that argon for 105 those sell for like 155 you know basically like new never used you know, that's a screaming deal. Look at that, TS57, he's bumping me. He's bumping me to 45 bucks. Oh my God. Um, oh, that TS, okay, so he's got that deep sea monster. I mean, the 614A, that's a monster knife. That is a monster knife. That's a, such a cool, the 614B is the one I want because the 614B is the blue. But that 614 is like the landmark Wii knife. Uh, the uh, Green Thorn, oh, he's got some. Yeah, they're Chinese. You know, the real version, of course, you know, thousand bucks. But in any case, uh, so you can look through here. And, oh, next page. We ain't done yet. Uh, oh, he's got that Shiro M390. He wants uh, 230 for it. Okay. So then he's got another a KJ, Kevin John, Shiro, Icebreaker, 160. So you can uh, scroll down through the list of available craziness. And keep in mind, my buddy at White Mountain, if you might want, you know, you might want to get a proper knife. Proper being... The keyword here uh you know so this is interesting you know now that it's getting to be close to the summertime nice light easy carry knife throw in your pocket s30v good quality slip joint whatever that kind of thing oh just to remind you all i'm also going to do uh an upcoming video on the recon knives the cold steel recon this one is the uh recon one this is a CTS XHP, which is being discontinued. I just grabbed this uh, uh, from somebody. I can't remember now. In any case, I think I made a guy an offer on uh, eBay or something and grabbed this up. Like the green handle. Can't get one uncoated, apparently. But in any case, they're coated. And I have a Recon in S35 coming in and an XL Recon which has been discontinued for a while. I'm going to put them all together, have recon party, recon. And then I'm going to be a blast. And then, hold your breath. We're going down old school road, you know, LTK, getting into the stupid ass DH gate and AliExpress. Well, tough luck, baby. We're back. So the Nemo comes from China. I didn't get this from China. I got this from Dave at Tuya. He ended up with this in his hands somehow. And he goes, looking for a trade, whatever. And we couldn't agree on a trade. We went back and forth for about a week. I said, I'm getting tired of this. Dave, how about money? Will that work? He goes, oh, hell yeah. So gave him some money. He sent me the knife. Bam, showed up. And I'll tell you what, they weight relieved the crap out of this thing inside. And uh, M390 ceramic bearings and uh this thing is really excellent <laughs> so we're going to talk about that that'll be fun goes under also the name of magic pterodactyl uh you know so it's getting rebranded and jumped around there but about a hundred and anywhere from about 125 to 145 bucks on uh Ollie or uh, DH Gate. And they did the carbon fiber in both sides, huh? I mean, it's nothing, you know, it's a thin strip. It's not like uber, uber, but hey, it's not 250 bucks either, right? So this is so cool. Put it on my Instagram, people were going, what the hell is that? And then 
I know I've had some people yelling at me. I'm going to get the titanium version of this, but I got this, the Irorosu uh, brand that's out there now. I, I'm going to step on my own foibles uh, and say, I think there's a relation here to Max Ace. Um, in any case, because uh, I see that Justin on White Mountain Knives, he has the titanium Irosu knife. And you can see it if you type in Max Ace and go through those knives, you can see the titanium version. Not, I mean, the titanium Irosu knife, it's, it doesn't look like this. I mean, not really. I mean, it, it's not supposed to. It's a whole different model. In any case, um, wow. In any case, this one's a G10 version, which he doesn't have in stock currently, and hopefully he will soon. Front choil, 440C steel, and I think I paid 48 bucks on Blade HQ, and they have them in different colors. And this is a monster knife. This is hugely tall. This is just a tad over nine inches overall. This is a huge knife. I mean, it's a huge knife. It's a, it's a very big, here's your Manix, right? It's a big knife, a big knife. Very tall here, big tall blade, killer, killer. And you know, for 48 bucks, it, I think it's a blast. Really fills your hand. Dance real nice G10 with good grain on it. Uh, I took it apart. Yeah, it's got uh, bearings, uh, multi-row bearings, but they're not ceramic, but I don't care. How about that? I don't even care, Stonewash. But look at that dog. I haven't even tried to finger flick this. I wonder, no, you can't, it's buried. Well, whatever. Any case, yeah, so we're gonna do some upcoming crazy brands. I've got the Max Ace Gleed. I've got the Max Ace uh, Dweamer Assassin. So we're gonna do Max Ace, we're gonna do Off Brand, we're gonna do CH, we're gonna do Rike, we're gonna do Play with the Recons, Lion Steel, Benchmade, Wingman, HEA. And oh, we're just getting started. Just getting started. Oh, I got a different Hogue coming in. Um, so I'm going to revisit the Hogue X5. So just get ready for that as well. Because those are just, man, there's so many good knives out there. It's insane. This is not good. This is like crystal meth, right? I mean, we're all, our brains are centered and focused on how much we love knives. And now it's not this limited, you know, kind of stifling market where it's easy to pass by and just skip getting one. Now you're, you're so flooded, you know, your sensory overload from so many good quality knives out there. It's just absolutely insane. All right. What have we done? We've caused a lot of grief. Flanagan, where are you, bud? Come on, Flanny. And you know what we do around here. So Check everything, all the codes, look at the knives. Let's do some trading, buy, sell, whatever. Because you know what we do around here. What do you do, Flanny? Well, we do. We love them knives. So stay sharp.